All right, my friends, time for another fantastic Revit tip. So here we go. What I want to show you today is talk, we're talking about schedules. Now, some of you might already know this and already use it. For those who don't, it's going to be, yay, thank you. Okay. Um, first of all, you can set a template, a view template to views in your drawing. You guys know this, right? You guys can set, let's say you have floor plans and reflected ceiling plans and sections in elevations, whatever, you can set, you can make a view template for all the plans so they all look the same. You just have to click on them and say, use this view template. And certain things are on and certain things are off. Like the furniture is off on the main working drawings, but if you make a view template for all of your furniture plans, the furniture would be on. Okay, you working with me? Then then, that way, all your reflective ceiling plans look the same, all of your sections look the same, all your elevations look the same, because you've taken the time to make view templates for each type. But then you just have to assign the views to use the template. You guys already know this, hopefully. And if not, oh my gosh, go use this. I've got a video you can look up on my um, here on my YouTube channel. Um, just do a search for schedules, okay? And it'll, I mean, view templates, and it will find that video for you. Anyway, today I want to just remind you guys that you can set a view template for schedules. So all your schedules look the same, but you don't always want them all to look the same. So just the same way that you had floor plans had one view template and elevations have a different view template we need to set up different um, view templates for different types of schedules. So let's just go there. I'm going to share my screen with you. All right, so here we go. Let's just go right here. <clears throat> okay, so here we are in Revit and I just wanna show you a couple things. One thing, okay. You guys should be in Revit 2023 right now, okay? If you're not using 2023, wait for it. Look at this feature. You can, you guys already have been able to sort your views, right? When you, you can right click on views and go to browser organization and set up different ways to represent your views, okay? And your sheets can be organized, your sheets down here can be organized in different ways. Now they have the ability for you to set your browser organization and the organization of your schedules. Oh my gosh, this is great. So let me just show you what I did. It was set, let me just right click and go to browser organize. I'm clicking on schedules, okay, schedules and quantities. Right click on schedules and quantities, go to browser organization, and it was set on all. And if I hit apply, that's where it was. And so I just had, I did this monster list of all my different schedules. I'm like, oh, I was always looking for a schedule. Where's my door schedule? Where's my finish schedule? And I know they're alphanumeric, okay, but it was still hard to find. I'm like, okay, is D before F, uh, okay. So now in 2023, I'm gonna right click, go to browser organization and I, I hit new, new and I made one called groups. And let me just show you what I did. I just went to grouping and sorting and I set it to be category. You can set it to be the phase and so all of your schedules will be grouped by phase. Like if you have a, um, like an existing phase and a new work phase, anyway, or you can organize it by phase filter, schedule type, bam, view template that is being applied to the schedule could be used or the views name. But I set mine to category and I said, okay, and use it. And I could rename that to see, to co call it category. Look, category, okay? So it's based on category. 
Now look, <laughs> you got to do this. Look at this. Any schedules that pertain to doors are uh, in the door group. My door um, check, you know, door number check so that it matches the room. I have a schedule for that. I have a schedule for just a regular door schedule and a door schedule by type, et cetera. But they're all the door stuff. And look at this, my furniture, um, all my furniture schedules are in that group. Generic annotations are in this group, kind of like my some notes. These are smart notes. I can place notes around the plan. Anyway, all my room um, schedules that are associated with rooms are here. Finished schedules, occupancy schedules. Anyway, and here's my sheets. Look at this. Architectural sheets, civil sheets, electrical, general, landscape, mechanical, electrical, plumbing. Ah, I was blown away when I saw the ability to group these based on category. Okay, so if you're not wowed, like I was, go back and get wowed, okay? Go look at it, it's in Revit 2023. All right, that's not even what I'm here to tell you about. Here's what I wanna tell you about. I wanna show you that you can put a view template on your schedules. And for those that um, didn't know it, here we go. Let's just go to a door schedule, okay? I'm gonna open up door schedule, okay? And this is just a door schedule that I've got. It's listing the doors on the first floor and the doors on the second floor. And it's all the information about it. You guys have seen door schedules before. But if I go to put this on a sheet and then I put on a sheet, I put maybe a finished schedule next to it. And then next to that, I put my window schedule. My different schedules might have different size fonts and different ways. Like some things might be um, the, um, what do you call it, bolded and something, different sizes. So, because you guys know this, if you go to your, I'm in my door schedule. And if I go to my formatting, okay, I'm going to set the view template to none right now so that I can actually do some work. Look at this. So if I'm in my door schedule and I say, okay, I'm going to go to my um, formatting. Okay. Or better yet, go to something that appearance. There we go. My schedule, I would like my schedule. You guys know this. Um, you can set your grid lines to be wide and the or the grid lines to be thin, but the outline around the whole thing to be super wide. Bam. And you can show the title, but no headers or yes headers. This is not a lesson on how to set up schedules, even though you've got everything you need right here. But look at this, the view, the title text. I'm gonna set the title text to be one uh, three sixteenths and then my headers to be red. You can set it however you want. And the body text just to be, um, let's see something silly, one twelfth. Oh, now we're talking. This is gonna be an amazing schedule. This is a schedule I love, right? And so what happens is it jumps to those settings when you set them, right? Because I'm not using a view setting. So if I go to my sheet, I'm going to come down here to my 601. I think that's where the door schedule is. Okay. So look, 601. Here's my door schedule. And it looks completely different. Let me just move it up here by the door schedule by type. It looks completely different than my other schedule. I mean, all the fonts are different and I, you could have different fonts and whatnot going on of different sizes and different colors. But then your set starts looking like you're disorganized. You don't know what you're doing. What you want is to come up with the exact way that you want all of your schedules to look and then make a view template and then apply that view template to your schedule. So here we go. So take a look. If I go back to my door schedule and I say, oh man, I don't know, I can't, you don't have to switch between different views to see which one you, you like. You can just check it right here on screen. You go to view template, okay? Go to, go to view template and you can highlight one of the ones that are already here. There's one going to be in there because you can never get rid of the last one. And you're going to hit duplicate. 
So look at this. If I hit duplicate, um, here's my typical schedule. I'm going to hit duplicate and say, use this for all schedules, whatever, name it what you want. Okay. And then once you make one, you can go up here to appearance and hit this edit button. And this is where you can set the stuff. You guys recognize this interface? It's the same interface we had just a minute ago. So I want the, look at this. I want thin lines. I do want, I want a bold wide line around the outside, but little thin lines inside. I like that. And then I want to show the title, yes, and the headers, but I want the title to be like three as sixteenths, okay? And then I want the header to be bold. Let's go three, let's go one eighth bold and the body text to be one eighth aerial plane. Let's just set that up. This is what we're gonna use for all of our schedules, okay? So I'm gonna say, okay. All right, and now when I'm in my schedule, I just make sure the view template is set to use this for all schedules. And now I'm gonna go back to my sheet and that looks pretty cool. Look at that, that's looking really nice. And now I want my door schedule by type to use the same template. So all I have to do is come over here to my browser and you don't have to actually open it. You can just click and highlight the one that you want or press and hold shift and highlight more than one. And once they're highlighted, you can just come over to your properties and click on use this for all schedules. You can whichever, whatever you named it. And when you hit okay, look, boom, it complies, it updates to be perfect like the, all the rest, okay? And you can edit and update. Now that I just went, I went like this. I clicked on the top one and the bottom one of all my door schedule, of everything, all the door schedules. And then I changed the view template on mine to be typical schedule. And boom, they all updated to be every single one. And if I want my furniture schedule and my room schedules, everything, to be compliant so that they all look the same. All I have to do is open up these different categories, highlight the top one, holding shift, click the bottom one and set them to be typical schedule or whatever I chose, okay, to name it. Now there's a different, there's one thing that's different here. Look at this. If I go to sheets, my sheets and well, I'm going to open up that view first so that you can see what I'm talking about. I'm going to go to my um, drawing sheets, okay? My project drawing sheets. Get my face out of the way. All right. Now, take a look at this. These are, I've got views, my friend. I have views for the architectural, and that's this one. And for the civil, and it's this one, and demolition, it's not on a sheet, but electrical, and it's this one. I've got these different um, sheet lists because what I do is I set the sheet schedule to mine the data from the link. Like once I get a structural link a, in LinkedIn, then I mine, I, I've got some temporary holding um, names of what a sheet might be. Those are totally temporary. I delete those and then I tell the view, the actual schedule to mine the data out of that link. And it will populate a list here based on the sheets and the view names that are the sheet names that are coming in from the structural file. And I do that for everything, for my fire protection link, when I link in a file and for my civil, I usually just type it in because they give it to me in CAD. Um, plumbing, mechanical, electrical. I just mine that data. I'll show you guys how to do that in a Revit tip if you guys are interested sometime. But these don't have headers. See, if I click, I'm just going to go to architectural and show you what I'm talking about. If I click architectural and I set it to have, get my face out of the way, 
typical schedule apply, look what it looks like. It, it says sheet number, sheet name. Well, if I do that for structural, set it to be typical, then it says sheet number, sheet name every time. And it's kind of like a duh. The first thing is the sheet number and the last one, I mean, the second group is the sheet name. People know this. So you don't have to make a, um, you don't want your view template typical to go into your sheet list like this. So I, this is just me, I set the like structural and architectural. What I did was I went, I'm gonna, instead of setting it to typical, I made one called index of drawings. And all I did in the appearance was to turn off the headers. So I didn't wanna see them. Everything else is the same, but I turned off the headers, okay? So now when I say index of drawings, okay? Or I'm gonna go back to structural and swap it to be index of drawings. What it does is, well, technically not everything's the same. I made the font up here in the header a tiny bit smaller, but in the title, a tiny bit smaller, but the headers are all gone because you don't need it. It's kind of obvious when you see a list of drawings that that's the drawing number and that's the drawing name. I'm just saying, that's just me. So I need basically only two types of schedules. I need one called typical schedule and I assign that to every single schedule except for my sheet lists. And I made a separate one called for sheet lists and or for index of drawings and it takes out the headers. That's just what I did. But if you guys didn't, if you guys didn't know that you could set a view template for your schedules, now you do. And you should definitely be using that because you want your working drawing set to look like you guys are not disorganized or that you don't know what you're doing. You want them all to look the same so that it, the whole team and the drawing set that's going out the door looks um, complete, okay? Anyway, that is a short tip with a couple of extra things that you may or may not have known. Just wanted you to see how to add a view template to a schedule. So get out there and try that. And if you're in 2023, you can group by category, if you want to, your schedules, which is so great. I love it. Anyway, that's enough for today. You guys have a fantastic day. Until we meet again, happy riveting. All right. Bye-bye.